Well, in just a few hours, we're expecting more staggering jobless numbers with the unemployment crisis at now historic levels. It's going to take all of us working together to bounce back from this. So starting right now, CBS2 is committing to working for Chicago, connecting you every day with the information that you or a loved one may need about the jobs market. Let's start this morning with Audrina Bugis. She's live at home with what we can expect today. Audrina, we are so proud of this segment that we're doing. Good morning, Ryan and Aaron. Yeah, it's so important, especially during this time. We are committed to working on this and bringing this to you every day. So a new unemployment claims report will be released by the government this morning. I've been speaking to financial analysts and experts. They tell me that because there is no end in sight to this outbreak, we could possibly see millions more and unemployment claims. Last week's job report we talked about had 6.6 .6 million people filing for unemployment benefits. That's way more than economists expected and double the all-time high set the previous week at 3.3 million. And if being laid off isn't enough to deal with, many of those laid off are facing huge hurdles to even apply for unemployment benefits. Here in Illinois, we continue to track issues with the state's unemployment system still overwhelmed by request. So the real question this morning, how many people are out of jobs but not being reported in today's numbers because they can't even get through? Uh, your benefits are based on the day you lose your job, not the day that you make the claim. So it's plausible that a lot of folks are saying, look, I'm just not going to wait on line or wait on the, the phone for four hours today to try to get through unemployment. But it really makes it difficult for economists to gauge the magnitude of the job losses. We know so many people are looking for work right now, so we are keeping a close eye on job openings, whether it's for you or someone you love that you could send the link to. I'll have more on that at 530 plus Morning Insider Tim McNicholas looking at an organization working hard to get people back to work.